Hello everybody and good day to you all. The day I'm talking about Legends of Tomorrow season number three, episode number four, Phone Home. This episode directed by Kevin Mock. And here we have two stories going on. You have Ray Palmer. We have to go back to, we have to go back in time to save young Ray Palmer. Because young Ray Palmer meets and finds a baby alien, which is a dominator. He befriends it, they become friends, but the government gets involved, and Ray, being the ultimate good guy, the ultimate boy scout, he tries to save his he's trying to save his young friend, and then he gets killed in the process. And so, so the legends have to go back in time when Ray was a child to make sure that doesn't happen, so Ray can still exist. And then also you have the story long going on with Dr. Martin Stein, who wants to be there for his daughter because she's about to have her baby. But he's afraid to tell anybody this because he thinks that if he tells them, they won't let him leave. So he thinks he has to sneak, sneak behind everybody's back to do it. So you have Ray trying to save his life and before, before he get erased from existence. And then you have Dr. Martin Stein who wants to see his child be born, or grandchild be born. That's, that's pretty much this episode was, was all about. Now this, this episode was pretty much E.T. That's all it was. It was just E.T. It was just, it was just the, the um, Legend of Tomorrow version of E.T. They, they, they even did the bicycle thing with him flying in the air. I, I, saw, I saw that coming too. It, it was a little cheesy. Yes, it was. But did I enjoy it? I did. I really did. I really enjoyed it a lot. And you get to see Ray as a child. And you get to see the things he was going through and how he dealt with it. And you got to see... And you, you, so you get a, a little bit more understanding about Ray and why he's so positive about things and why he look, keep looking for on the bright side of things. Because he didn't, he, he didn't really have a... It wasn't like a terrible child. He wasn't getting abused or anything, but it wasn't completely happy either. I mean, his mother thought he was kind of, thought he was a little weird, and even though she may have let him do his experiments and stuff like that, and let him do it, she she just, she just thought it was just strange and that he was he didn't have, really had no friends and that he was by himself a lot of times. And so he kind of, she kind of looked at him like he was kind of a little strange. But to Ray, he just, he just all he saw was a mom who was supportive. Who was who? Who like liked to do liked what he did his experience his, his experiments, which helped him keep moving forward in life. And yes, he got bullied in school too because he was a nerd. He was very smart, and so. But to him, it was just kids being kids. That was his friends just, just messing with him. So all the bad things that happened is happening to him. He just he, he just kept looking at the positives. He kept, he, he, that's how he coped with things, helped him move forward. And so that's how he became the man he is now. A successful. Well, he was. Well, he had his own company for a while, but he, but he, he was a brilliant scientist, a very one of the smartest people on the planet. And you also seen the relationship going on between Dr. Martin Stein and Jefferson, because because they're they're real close. They have to be because they, they become firestorm without with one can't become the other, become firestorm without the other. They need each other to become to become one. Yeah, they're the closest anybody can be. And, and, yeah, in, in, in a relationship. Because they, they don't just like those say we're one. They actually do become one person. And so you got Dr. Martin Stein, who, who, who's like, at first, was, it's interesting because at first when he first started on this, on this journey, he wanted to go and Jefferson didn't, didn't want to go. And he dragged him along. But this time, Jefferson wants to be there. He loves being the hero. He loves being in Firestorm. But now Dr. Martin Stein, he's looking at his life and saying, I miss my grand. I miss my I miss my daughter. I don't want to miss out on my grandchild, my grandchild being born. I miss my wife. I want to I want to be home. I miss my life. He's an old man. He wants to sit, pretty much relax. And him running around jumping through time is not looking as exciting for him anymore. Especially now, since he knows that, that, that they pretty much messed up the whole time stream. That's the reason why the whole time stream got all messed up in the first place. He's thinking to himself, maybe, I, we, we, maybe we should quit. Maybe we should end. Maybe we should let the, the time masters handle this. And seeing how, they, uh, and see how Jefferson and them deal with this is, is very interesting. This episode was, like, was, was a little cheesy at times, but it was also sweet. Very funny, very touching. I really did enjoy it a whole lot. I mean, I like the scene when, when, when Ray and the little alien was watching um, Singing in the Rain together. And also when the alien made the, made the, made the, uh, the, the government agents started singing and dancing. I thought that was funny and, and hilarious. So overall, actually, this, 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 so far, this was my favorite episode. I really did enjoy it a whole lot. Yeah. Hopefully the rest of them keep going, keep it going, get better from here. Hopefully.
If not, this, this one right here is my favorite episode. So, leave comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Legends of Tomorrow. And if you haven't been watching it, check it out for yourself. I'll take my word for it. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy it and have fun watching it, too. Well, I think that's all I got to say about that. So, give my channel the big old like, the thumbs up, mm, boom, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, peoples.